welcome guys <clears throat> in this video uh, I want to show you the smokeless uh, what this software is all about uh, it's uh, just a Ryzen unlocking utility so you can have access to all your hidden settings so, for example, many of the laptops or uh, single board computers nowadays, they have uh, a locked uh, setting. So, here from this uh, GitHub, we can see uh, what this tool is capable of. So, uh, with this tool, you can access, modify IMD PBS and IMD CBS menu and possibly overclock without flashing or just uh, and just booting from your USB flash drive so uh, how it works uh, basically IMD uh, no, no matter what manufacturer is of the laptop or uh, uh, mini PC on even desktop so I will test uh, uh, in the next video with desktop computer so I want to see what options I can unlock uh, it give you uh, like uh, option to load these settings on top of your bills so basically uh, this package includes two main component a loader and user interface components the later one of the build uh, from a standard EDK2 package so this is uh, from uh, QEMU uh, open source UFI builds if you know QEMU I'm sure some people know for EDK2 so basically they are using uh, uh, these uh, UI components to be able to build this loader so on boot from USB loader uh, you will unregister and un uh, the existing BIOS browser and it will load custom one providing the new interface from boot it's very interesting uh, how they do this basically you need to prepare a USB flash drive and uh, of course uh, you can uh, apply these settings from basically loading this uh, program from your uh, USB flash drive so uh, very good option is on many laptops for example UMA buffer size this is uh, uh, video memory so for example if you have Ryzen and uh, on some vendors VRAM is locked uh, to 2 gigabytes. You can unlock, for example, 4 gigabytes up to 16 gigabytes. So uh, another option is FTL clock control. I am the overclocking menu. So DC on most laptops it should work. So I will test this on my Ryzen uh, Asus 5800H Asus VivoBook and of course uh, I will show this in the in the video so guys here is my UFI menu so I, I already prepared the flash drive so you can uh, you need to format uh, this FAT32 FAT and uh, you can just have to copy the file from uh, this github to your USB flash drive so let's see what we can do so let's select the boot menu so it depends on your uh, configuration your settings can be different but I am just uh, using my quick options boot menu so we can see the USB flash drive is uh, shown as a bootable device so let's boot and we are uh, we have now the uh, boots uh, options so I want to show you uh, let's 
uh, start as device manager so here is IMD B, uh, PBS options uh, option uh, display policy ID configuration setup so uh, advanced and here we can see so many options that we can just play with uh, like these options are not in the of course we can see driver held and uh, asus uh, az flash 3 utility it's still accessible from uh, this uh, ufi uh, loader so basically this is loader that uh, is loaded on top of your BIOS or UFI so it gives you more options uh, to change uh, a lot of parameters that normal BIOS is uh, locked so depend on your of course manufacturer or uh, laptop or mini PC these options of course can be different and uh, let's check for example usb configuration we have this trusted computing and the uh, factory reset so if you don't know what you are doing guys uh, i recommend to not uh, mess with these settings only change uh, for example setting that you know what you are doing uh, let me see uh, can I find a protocol so security chipset advanced advanced stack options trusted computing main you can see BIOS vendor uh, no to continue mm. so our level of access is administrator uh, let me check this so firmware I am the firmware version uh, so many options are here MMU, you can control GFS configuration, IGP configuration. Ah, here uh, these options we can set the frame buffer of uh, your uh, integrated card. So, for example, if you want to have 4 gigs just for video, we can select this and it will be uh, selected. So I will still keep auto because I don't need so much frame buffer but uh, for some laptops this can be very useful because some games they can start with one gigabyte or just uh, two gigabyte of RAM. Uh, this is PSPP policy. Uh, any options on control system temperature tracking smart shift control um, you see subject configuration a lot of stuff you can change so 
because I didn't test this uh, in the next video uh, I will try to overclock the CPU and rise the of course uh, CPU power and share the result so for now I just wanted to show uh, quick what options uh, are available from this folder and if you guys are interested uh, you can try also but please be careful uh, and if you for example change something and uh, your after restart your laptop or computer is not booting you have to reset the BIOS so just uh, it need to load default values uh, for the settings in the BIOS so basically this is uh, just changing the settings on your BIOS but in most vendors they are locked so that's why if you change something and if you stick just uh, reset your BIOS so and I will show be fine so that is for now and thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe